Making spoken and written communication inclusive helps everyone feel welcomed and valued. Meeting someone you don't know and who is seen as an expert can be intimidating. Putting them at ease as soon as possible will help start your engagement right. Where do you begin? Always introduce yourself. Keep your language gender neutral. For example, when welcoming an audience, instead of welcome ladies and gentlemen, say welcome everyone. Use family inclusive language when you don't know the relationship between a group of people. It helps us not to make assumptions. For example, instead of parents, mum or dad, use grown up, adults or caregiver. Use terms such as dad, mum, daughter and son where relationships are known. Jargon is useful shorthand when communicating with colleagues. However, it can lead to confusion, misunderstandings and feelings of exclusion for others. Abbreviations, words with double meanings or different meanings to different groups also need consideration. For example, protein. Is it a piece of chicken or the building blocks of life? Is a cell a jail cell or the smallest functional unit of a living thing? And drugs. People often imagine illegal drugs rather than ones that help. Say medicines instead. Many of our scientists research diseases. Use person-first language when talking about people with a disease. This centers the person instead of the disease. Using terms such as suffers from is not appropriate. Use neutral language that states the facts. However, if you are referring to a specific individual, they may have their own preferences, so ask them.